This question will look at using a tree diagram to solve a certain type of question, though this can be solved in lots of different types of ways. Now in this situation, on a shelf there are four egg sandwiches, five cheese and two ham. And Erin takes two at random. And we want to find the chance that she picks two different types. Now if we adopt the tree diagram approach, sort of a fail-safe method that will always work for these sort of questions, though not always the quickest way, then when she first gets a sandwich there are three choices. There's egg, cheese or ham. So when she first picks one out the chance of an egg will be 4 out of the total which is 4 out of 11. A cheese would be 5 out of 11 and ham would be 2 out of 11. Now that's the options for her first sandwich. Now having picked an egg, when she then goes for the second sandwich, there are then three choices. There would be an egg again, or a cheese, or a ham. But having picked an egg for her first sandwich, there's one less egg sandwich on the shelf. And there's also one less in total. So the chance of an egg now will be 3 out of 10. A cheese is still 5, but it's 5 out of 10. And a ham would still be 2, but again 2 out of 10. Now, we then go through with cheese. So cheese could then be egg, cheese or ham. She picked in a cheese sandwich, so there's one less cheese sandwich. So for egg would be 4 out of 10, cheese would be now 4 out of 10, there's one less cheese on the shelf, and ham would still be 2, but 2 out of 10. And then we do ham, ham could be followed by egg, cheese or ham. There's one less ham sandwich, there's still 4 eggs, so 4 out of 10, still 5 cheese, but only 1 ham. Now then, we want the chance that she picks two different types. So the options would be egg then cheese, egg then ham, cheese and egg, cheese and ham, ham then egg, or ham then cheese. We then work out each of these six options, se options separately. And we find each separate chance by times in the fractions. So this is 4 elevenths times 5 tenths. 4 times 5 is 20. 11 times 10 is 110. I've not made the fraction simpler, though you could do that if you wanted to. 4 times 2 is 8. 8 out of 110. 5 times 4 is 20. 110. 5 times 2 is 10. 110. 2 times 4 is 8 out of 110. And 2 times 5 is 10 out of 110. There were 6 options, so therefore the overall probability is the sum of all of these. So we do 20 plus 8 plus 20 plus 10 plus 8 plus 10, which works out at 76 all over 110. And 76 over 110 works out to be 30, 38 out of 55. So the chance that Erin picks two different types is 38 out of 55.